Hello everyone, I am Bhavna and today I am here to tell you about place value with the help of KPL place value kit. Here we have KPL place value kit. This place value kit has 1 unit, 10 strips of 10 units, a board of 100 units, numerals and number names. With the help of this kit, we are going to learn about the value of a digit in a number. One digit number. This unit represents digit 1 at 1's place. This is digit 1. In words, it is represented as O-N-E-1. These units represent digit 2 at 1's place. This is digit 2. In words, it is represented as T-W-O-2. Similarly, we can represent digit 1 to 9 like this. Let us count these 1 unit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are 9 units. If I add one more unit, it becomes 10 units. 10 is represented as 1, 0, 10. In words, it is represented as T, E, N, 10. Now, 10 is a 2 digit number. We observe that 10 is the smallest 2 digit number. We have a strip of 10 units. We replace 10 ones with a strip of 10 units. Let us count and check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These are 10 units. Larger units are built using smaller units or we can say that any smaller unit can be used to build larger units. Both sides of the arrow equals the same amount. They just use the different units to show the same number. Addition of single digit number. Add 7 and 5. Let us count how many units are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We know that for 10 units, we can replace it with a strip of 10 units. A strip of 10 units is 10 and 2 ones unit is 2. 10 plus 2 is 12. In words, it is represented as 12. Let us talk about 2 digit number. By observing these units, let us try to write the number. Let us count how many strips of 10s are there. There are 3 strips of 10 unit, that is 30, and 4 ones unit, that is 4. 30 plus 4 is 34. Number formed is 34. In words, it is represented as 34. Addition of 2 digit number without carrying. There are 3 strips of 10 units that is 30 and 4 ones unit that is 4. Number formed is 34. Now take 2 strips of 10 units. 1, 2 that is 20 and 3 ones unit that is 1, 2, 3. T number formed is 23. Let us arrange all these units according to their place like strip of 10 units with the strip of 10 units and 1's unit with the 1's unit like this. To add 34 and 23, we will count 1's unit. There are 7 1's unit that is 7 and 5 strips of 10 units that is 50. So, 34 plus 23 is 57. In words, it is represented as 57. Addition of 2 digit number with carrying. There are 3 strips of 10 units, that is 30, and 7 ones unit, that is 7. Number formed is 37. Now take 5 more strips of 10 units. 1, 2, 3, 
4 5 that is 50 and 5 ones unit 1 2 3 4 5 that is 5 number formed is 55 let us arrange all these units according to their place like strip of 10 units with strip of 10 units and 1's unit with 1's unit. We observe that 1's unit are more than 10. Let us count and check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 units. We replace 10 1's with the strip of 10 units. So we are left with 2 1's unit. Here we have 2 1's unit. We will count the strip of 10 units. We are left with 9 strips of 10 units that is 90. 37 plus 55 is 92. In words it is represented as 90 2. Subtraction. Subtraction of single digit number. Here I have 9 ones unit. Now I will take 6 ones unit from these 9 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are 6 units. Here we are left with 3 ones unit. So, 9 minus 6 is 3. In words, it is represented as 3. Subtraction of 2-digit number without borrowing. There are 6 strips of 10 units, that is 60. And 6 ones unit, that is 6. Number formed is 66. Now, I have to subtract 23 from 66. I will take 3 1's unit from 6 units. We are left with 3 units. Now, I will subtract 2 strips of 10 units from 6 strips of 10 units. Here, we are left with 4 strips of 10 units that is 40. So, 66 minus 23 is 43. In words, it is represented as 43. Subtraction of 2-digit number with borrowing. There are 7 strips of 10 units, that is 70. And 4 ones unit, that is 4. Number formed is 74. Now, we will subtract 26. Since 6 is greater than 4 and we cannot subtract bigger number from the smaller number, so let's borrow one strip of 10 units. Here, I replace a strip of 10 with 10 ones unit, so it becomes 14 ones unit. Now, we can subtract 6 from 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are 6 units. How many 1's unit are left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We are left with 8 units. Here, we are left with 6 strips of 10 units. We will subtract 2 from 6. We are left with 4 strips of 10 units, that is 40. So, 74 minus 26 is 48. In words, it is represented as 48. Let us count these units and build the number. There are 9 strips of 10 units, that is 90 units. And 9 ones unit, that is 9 units. 90 plus 9 is 99. Now, if I add one more 1's unit, then what will we get? 
99 plus 1 is 100. Yes, it becomes 100. These are 10 ones unit, so we replace it with a strip of 10 units. Now, there are 10 strips of 10 units, that is 100 units. There is one more way to represent 100. Instead of using 10 strips of 10 units, we can use a board of 100 units. Both sides of the arrow equals the same amount. They just use the different units to show the same number. Observe that 100 is the smallest 3 digit number. Now we move to 3 digit number. Let us count these units and build the number. There is one board of 100 units, that is 100 units. Two strips of 10 units, that is 20 units. And five ones unit, that is five units. 100 plus 20 plus 5 is 125. In words, it is represented as 125. Face value. Face value of a digit is the digit itself. The face value of a digit always remains the same irrespective of its position in a number. Let us find the face value of a given number 469. Face value of 4 is 4 but the place value of 4 is 400. Face value of 6 is 6 but the place value of 6 is 60. Face value of 9 is 9 and the place value of 9 is 9. Keep practicing and happy learning!